Hey, beautiful people. Wanted to make a video just to remind you that, you know, life is too short. Life is really too short to be worrying about people who are not making you happy. People who are not trying to be in the same car with you. Because life is like a car. You know, our life is... um. It's a car. You know, some people are supposed to get in your car, stay in your car for a long time. And some people are supposed to sit in your car, but, you know, have a little conversation with you and get out. You know, they're not supposed to buckle in and close the door and keep driving with you. No, they're just coming to have a conversation. And after that conversation, they're supposed to get out the car. Okay, so don't mistake in those people and let them buckle their seatbelt in your car, which is your life. Don't let them do that because sometimes you got to let them out. So through life. Before you get to um, a trial or a situation that you're going through, God has already equipped you. God has given you the things and the tools that you need to move forward. You know, maybe um, you're having um, a situation in school and you just can't understand why am I failing this exam or why is this or this. There's a reason why you're going through that. Do not give up. Listen, do not give up. There's brighter light ahead. Something greater is about to happen to you. Um, try to understand why am I failing this exam. Try to learn. Read. You know, you can't expect to pass if you're not reading. You know, you can't expect anything if you're not in, put, investing in yourself. Take the time to invest in yourself. Read. Whatever you have to do to pass, pass. And in life, I don't know what you, what really you're going through, what situation. Maybe you're waiting for that promotion or maybe you're going through something and you just don't know how to, but why is this happening to me? Just look around you and think about why is it happening? Has God provided for me to be able to bounce off of that situation or that trial that I'm going through? You know, um, for me, I know that um, God equipped me. Because when I look at my life, I know I'm like, I'm one year old, why this, why that? Sometimes like, why, why am I asking why? I'm already blessed. I'm highly favored. Because um, God already put my family in a situation that was able to handle whatever trials that came our way whatever um situation that i'm going through right now god has already given me that shield to protect me from whatever that the enemy or the devil is trying to bring my way so in everything think about your life don't compare yourself to other people around you everybody has their own situation because sometime in life we try to compare ourselves to a this person a this person b this person c when really we're only supposed to think about us because look at life as instagram People only post a beautiful picture of themselves. People only post, um, okay, um, I have this nice dress or, or um, this dress fit me so well. And um, they're not going to post that, you know, they, they're being in an abusive relationship or maybe don't have money or maybe they're, they're, their house is about to be foreclosed. Nobody posts that on social media. So you never know what somebody is battling. Only focus on whatever you are battling. You know, we tend to kind of compare ourselves. Oh, this person's husband has bought them a car, or this person's wife bought him a house, or this person's child is doing this, or this person this. No, forget about what this person or that person is doing, and focus on what you are doing. Because once you start focusing on what you are doing, you're going to realize how blessed you are. You're going to be uh, realize how favored you are, how God's grace is upon your life, and because. The fact that you are alive means that God is not done with you. So that was looking at um, the um, online. Um, I get um, news from Essence Magazine and a couple of other magazines. And I saw a couple of people that died just this year. Just this 2021. And I saw, I'm like, wow, these people. Even some, some one died at 31 years old. I'm like, what? wow, God, you kept me alive. I'm alive. That means you're not done with me. So the fact that you're listening to this message means that God is not yet done with you. There's some purpose and there's a reason for your being here on earth. Never mistaken that or question that for any other thing. God has a plan for you. God has a purpose for you. God has a reason why you're alive. And live in it. Live in your purpose. Do not, um, don't miss your purpose because you're so focused on whatever is happening on everybody else's life. That you forget about what's happening in your life. Okay? Let's aim at try to get what is in our life and focus on that. Okay? I love you all. I deeply do. But do not forget that Jesus loves you and don't forget that God has a plan for you. Okay? I'm almost at my destination. I love you all. Take care. Bye.